in an odd way, actually, we've taken it for granted in the past few years that STEM is the king, and obviously it is very important, and we have to, uh, we have to uh, support it, but humanities are second-class citizens that are unimportant, and I would maybe would like to make a controversial statement here that I think actually some of the radical innovations going forward in the next few years or next few decades may come at the interface between humanities and, and high tech. I think the University of Washington is the next neighborhood that, that can and will be transformed. I know there's been a lot of work between the university and the neighborhood and the city to, to lay the groundwork for that. Sound Transit's ahead of schedule on the light rail. There's very exciting work being done. I think all of a sudden we'll be surprised to see you know, cranes popping up in this neighborhood. And I don't, like, there's things to like and, and, and hate about the way South Lake Union was done. I think this will be different to South Lake Union. But I think there's a really exciting opportunity to build, in, in your words, a, a city that's a vibrant place to be, where the university is, is the anchor of an, an interesting, diverse neighborhood that has amazing companies and workplaces and amazing places to live for, for all ages, not just for students. And, and I think the University of Washington, if, if it continues to lean into it and the community continues to support it, can become the anchor of the most exciting urban neighborhood in Seattle and frankly make Seattle the most exciting city in the country. University typically are on the leading edge, the bleeding edge, and I think UW's been, done a good job, but this university in some ways, in my mind, has no real competition in the market. Let's, let's think about that and talk about that. When you learn how many innovations are coming out of the university, how much mind share is in this core at this moment, it's phenomenal. And no one here wants to make Silicon Valley. No one wants to make Cambridge because we have our own unique, distinct, I think, environment. And if we're going to be honest about it and you talk about what the university can do and you talk about diversity and women and minorities getting into business here, we need a, a lot more of open conversation about it and other things that we can do that come down from the city the mayor's office, health and human services, the police department, and so many other things that make it comfortable for people of all walks of life to want to come to Seattle.